Hey guys, let's imagine a scenario. There is a fintech company and there is a developer there. That guy has access to multiple systems, development, test and production. And there is a security account and IAM roles are used to manage this using the principle of least privilege. Least privilege means if someone comes to meet you and they need to be uh, sitting on the ground floor of the office. You may be working on the fifth floor. They cannot come to fifth floor. Their security access card will not work. So this is a scenario. <clears throat> it's a large enterprise with separate environments and security rules. This is what we are saying. And they have dedicated security teams to audit the security postures. They have DevOps team. What does DevOps team do? They deploy code and monitor the deployments across these development pipelines and different environments. So now what happens is there is a problem. In production, something is not working and the developer is mint of fire. The productions, that he's getting a lot of uh, calls to resolve it. So what will the developer do in that case? How will they proceed? They will first go to production and check what is the issue. Okay. They will log into the production account. They will examine the live logs and metrics and try to analyze. Okay. What is the problem? Okay. Once they have done it, what is the next step? They would want to come to one lower environment like the test box and they would want to replicate this but before that what we do this is crucial boss this is crucial before that they will log off from production okay this is the crucial part they are now logging off next they log in to the test servers they replicate the issue okay and try to mim mimic and see if that issue is coming here or not. Now, what is the thing they will do next? They will log off. Again, they will log off. Okay. Now, what they will do? They will go to one more lower environment. That is your development environment. Why? They will see if the issue is existing there as well. And then they have to what they will do there? They will fix the issue. Fix the issue in dev environment. So now they will log into the dev environment. They will examine the code and make changes. Okay, once that is done, what is the next step? Log off. They will again log off. Log off. Log off. Log off. As a developer, it is so tiring, man. Why do I need to sign in and sign out every time? This is ridiculous. So what is the solution? First, you subscribe. This channel has 1000 plus videos to help you with certification and all of these latest trend, knowledge and etc. Become a cloud kernel member as well. For a very small premium, you gain access to so many important questions, content and so on. Okay, so what is the solution? Okay, what is the solution, my friend? AWS is giving you a solution. This is a solution. There is a new feature launched in 2025 called multi session support. Multi session support, very important feature. So, now how will the developer's life change? <clears throat> they will no longer need to log off. No log off no log off no log off when switching environments so now this guy can get in login once examine the production logs mimic and replicate the issue in test box fix the code in dev box due to this feature which feature multi session support due to this feature of aws this guy need not log off and log in when he is switching the environments 
that means it eliminates the cumbersome process of constantly logging in and out this saves significant time and reduce the risk of errors I hope you understood this concept of this new feature and how it helps the developers. It is not only important to know what it does for you, but who can make use of it. Even the DevOps people can make use of it. Okay, even the security people can make use of it. How DevOps will use it? DevOps people they can just log in once and monitor the deployments. Second thing. is that the security people can just log in once and check what is happening audit in multiple environments in one go so is it only helping developers no boss it helps developers it helps dev ops people and it helps security guys all three all three roles will get the benefit of this multi session support feature of aws so even though you are in the line of fire like this gentleman here you don't have to worry because you don't have to log off and log in multiple times just in single session multi session you just log in once and do your job so one less thing to worry about but when you are under this scenario of fire there are so many things you have to worry about aws has made sure you worry uh, like they have removed one thing from your bucket list so that you don't have to worry about this one so let's see you in the next part i hope you understood the concepts explained here